Greetings Hoodoo family. I hope this video finds you doing well and doing great on your Hoodoo journey. Today we want to look at doing root work with some onions. And I think this is going to be something that will be very helpful to you on your journey. So let's go ahead and get started. Prior to commercialized and contemporary Hoodoo, which relies a lot on store-bought products, traditional Hoodoo of our ancestors during slavery was the opposite. They used very simple materials. People had to use what they could find around them. And this is some of the type hoodoo that I grew up around and that I like to practice. Traditional hoodoo is mostly handmade. So let's take a look at four ways that you can use an onion in root working. These are a few things that you might already know, but I'm sure there's some things here that you wasn't aware of that will be useful in your hoodoo journey. First and foremost, everything has a spirit from a potato to a rock. The spirit of an onion is very powerful. It has the power to make you cry whether you want to or not. It has the power to draw, to protect, to purify, strengthen, and repel. So it is very undervalued in today's hoodoo, but was a major, uh, had a major role in our ancestors' hoodoo. Always remember that in hoodoo, you have to command the spirits that you're working with. So as you go through these things that I'm about to share with you, always remember to command the spirit of the onion to do what you need it to do and always give thanks. Onions are great for healing. You've probably heard about placing an onion on the feet to remove toxins and fever and clearing the liver. Before bedtime, slice a white onion very thin. Place this on the bottom of the feet and carefully place a white sock over your feet, making sure that the onion remains at the very bottom of your feet. Go to bed and overnight the onion will do its thing and it really works. My elders have used this for many generations in my family. White pearl onions and also what they call white boilers. These are small size onions and they're very good to work with in hoodoo. Pearl onions are weaker than the white boilers. You can use one of these as a protection amulet by itself. The next time that you need to go around enemies or into a hostile environment such as your job, your school, or just need protection in general, here is what you do. If it's a general protection that you need, meaning that there is no one specifically targeting you, you just want to have protection. Use a pearl onion. If you know for certain that uh, certain specific people do not like you, use a white boiler for added protection. Take a red piece of cloth, place the onion in the middle, add three seeds from a chili pepper, tie it off with some red string, and hide this in your clothes or your pockets. You can wear this for about a week or more you can keep using it until it uh, spoils. If you see any signs of mold, throw it away. Before popular contemporary road opener spells and candles and oils like we have today, there were rituals that cleared one's path of bad luck so that good luck could come your way. These brought change to stagnant situations, change to get things moving in the right direction. The onion played a very powerful role in clearing the path. Combine three dried boiler or pearl onions, whichever ones you can find in your grocery store, half a cup of dried lemon peel, pine needles, Combine these to make a burning herb ritual. Start burning them before sunrise in a fire fireproof bowl. 
Do this outdoors on a balcony or somewhere outside so that you don't get a lot of smoke in your home and set off your alarms. Take some of the ashes. When you're through, take some of those ashes and throw them towards the east at sunrise. And you can repeat this ritual for up to nine mornings in a row. And it helps to clear your path of bad luck and usher in good luck. Make your enemy cry by obtaining their photograph and write their name nine times on a piece of paper. Turn the paper towards the west and write cry baby nine times over their name. Place the photo and the petition in the jar. Add a half spoon of asphidity powder, nine pearl onions on top of this, do your commands, speak your commands, what um, you want the onions and the asphidity powder to do, which is to make your enemy cry. Place the lid on the jar and put this in a dark spot, like at the top of the closet or maybe the back of a cabinet that's hardly opened. Let it sit there until you are satisfied that your enemy has cried enough. I hope that you found this information helpful. Never underestimate the power of the onion. It has helped our ancestors in many ways in root working. These are just a few things that I've named here. There are certainly more. So I hope this has been helpful to you. If you are willing to do some work, willing to listen and learn, Check out my Hoodoo training program. It's Afrocentric, Ancestral Centered, 12 Lessons, Pay As You Go. Go to my website and check it out. Until the next video, have a safe and powerful Hoodoo journey.